According to history, Fra Kripalad Fan Paresco initiated the establishment of the temple in 1969 and named it Wat Thum Chang after the local name of Thum Chong Mountain. The subsequent donation of funds for an Arawan elephant statue led to the renaming of the temple and the cave to Wat Thum Arawan and Arawan Cave to maintain consistency. Arawan is the Thai name for the three-headed elephant Aravada who serves as the Mount of Indra, the king of the gods in Hindu mythology. Indra is often identifiable by his green color. Visitors can pay homage to the Arawan elephant and Nang Fa Hom before visiting the cave. It's intriguing that the temple area is situated in Loi province, the cave itself is in Nong Bua Lamfu area, contributing to the unique charm of the site. The mountain, referred to by locals as Fa Thum Chang because of its resemblance to a crouching elephant, adds a distinctive natural element to the surroundings. To reach the Arawan Cave, Visitors must climb 621 cement stairs which was constructed in 1975. There are three viewing pavilions along the way allowing visitors to take a moment to rest and appreciate the natural beauty of the surroundings. When arriving at the mouth of the cave, there is a large Buddha image in the posture of Maravakai named Fra Fathachai Sri Mahamuni Trilokanath, which is built in 1976. Arawan Cave consists of a main chamber divided into smaller rooms adorned with unique shaped stalactites and stalagmites. The path through the cave is 300 meters long and must be backtracked on the way out. Buddha in the cave houses several small wooden and bronze Buddha statues in Lan Chang art style, enshrined on an upturned lotus base made from cement overlaid with stalagmites. Star viewing point where small lights lining the path create an ambience resembling standing among the stars in complete darkness, providing a poetic and enchanting experience. Kneeling King Elephant Stone, legend has it that the King Elephant was saddened to death and turned himself into stone, 
forming the kneeling king elephant stone in the cave. Ceiling Light Beam The ceiling of Arawan Cave allows a light beam to pass through a hole and reach the cave floor between 11 a.m. and noon. Stalactite Cave. There is a walkway with a tall cave wall adorned with beautiful stalactites. Coral stone and walkway. From here you can see an opening to walk through into another hole. It's not a very big hole, but enough to walk through. As for the walkway you must walk carefully because the stones on the ground were round, smooth, shiny stones. Cold Room, the last hall of Arawan Cave. It is called the Cold Room because there is always constant wind blowing in. The stairs at the back leading to the viewpoint for visitors to admire the surrounding scenery. Overall, what Tam Arawan and Arawan Cave combination of natural wonders, cultural elements, and spiritual symbols making it a captivating destination for both locals and tourists alike. Please kindly subscribe, like and hit the notification bell.